Let's talk quarterbacks. Let's talk my top five quarterbacks coming into this year's NFL draft. Going to go one through five. There are some fun, unique quarterbacks on this this list for sure. I think the clear cut one and two, though, are Drake May and Caleb Williams. Like those are top 10 grade guys, first round grade guys. I think at a bare minimum, you're going to get a quarterback that helps you compete. Their ceilings are debatable, but I think their floors are set pretty well right now. Um, Drake May, I tweeted it out early in the season uh, that I got Drake Bay over Caleb Williams. I'm going to stick with it right now. Drake May is a fantastic prospect. Um, the things he does, like the easy comp is Justin Herbert sprinkling in a little Josh Allen because he's an absolute lunatic with the football at times and like his want, his his desire to make a play similar to Josh Allen where like Josh Allen does some insane stuff where you're like, what is going on? Because he has such this strong will to try to make a play out of nothing. Um, and that can be a good or bad thing depending on the outcome. Uh, but he's definitely more like a Justin Herbert comp in the fact that like all of the skill sets are there, but the the stat line merchants are not going to like him because he wasn't in this you know high powered offensive system surrounded by insane offensive talent like some of these other quarterbacks were. Like if you take Drake May and put him on an LSU or a Washington or even a USC for that matter, his stat lines are going to increase exponentially. Um, but you still see all of the impressive traits and skill sets he has. There's a part of me too, that unfortunately like people are not going to like this comparison because it's really a mixed bag, but like I see a little bit of Jay Cutler in this guy. Um, and I think that's probably the floor for him. Like that's his set floor. And if that's your set floor, that's not a bad set floor. Jay Cutler is the best quarterback in bears franchise history. Um, now in the hierarchy of quarterbacks, you know, not that high bit of a mixed bag, but there is a little bit of that in his game. I see um, from the Jay Cutler side, but from a skill set side, and I think this is where the biggest difference comes from Caleb William and Drake may is we saw Drake may playing more within structure, being more on time, even when the play breaks down, like he's sneaky athletic. So people don't like the Josh Allen comp because the athleticism is much different. Like Josh Allen's a better athlete, but Drake may is still a very good athlete. He's very mobile, big guy, big arm. Um, he's fantastic in his maneuverability within the pocket, I think, which is a little different than what Caleb Williams has showed us. Caleb Williams showed us a lot more of like bailing out the backside, playing some backyard football where Drake may certainly has that in his tool bag, but he just, his maneuvering within the pocket is just, it's silky smooth. Um, he's got a really good, good arm. He can be a little overly aggressive, I think, which in the end of the day is not like the worst thing. It can certainly be bad if you're like Jameis Winston overly aggressive, but it's a balancing act. Like you want a quarterback that isn't afraid to pull the trigger on a throw to try to throw with anticipation and timing as opposed to a guy who's just scared and holding onto the ball longer and checking down all the time and going three and out. Like it's a balancing act. And I do think Drake May has that balance. Um, he just wasn't surrounded by the best weapons. You know, Tez Walker came in later in the season. And Tez Walker's a, a fantastic college football wide receiver. As And if you listen to the college football show, we do. You, you've heard me talk about him. But as far as like an NFL prospect, it's a little murky. We saw that at the Senior Bowl where like can't run a five-yard curl route. Um, so, yeah, I, I really like Drake May. I think that he is a, a fantastic prospect. You can't go wrong, though, I don't think, with Caleb Williams or Drake May. And that's where Caleb Williams comes into this picture. Because 